I'm a GP and I work in general practice and public health and I'm head of the Royal Clinical School. I, uh, my background is I grew up in Perth but um, went to Darwin as a young doctor and developed an interest in remote health and Aboriginal health through that work in the Territory and have lived in the Kimberley for half my professional life now. The Royal Clinical School has always taken training our teachers seriously and we, we've recruited people who are from clinical backgrounds, not teaching backgrounds, not academics, and we've been developing them. However, developing new resources and developing new ways of approaching teaching clinical teachers takes quite a lot of time and effort. And while we've done that over the years, to do a better job, we really needed a, an injection of funds. And the funding through the WA Clinical Training Network allowed us to really develop something that was a much better package to address our new priority, which is from just teaching medical students, which was our job until the last few years, to a greater emphasis on the rural health multidisciplinary training and working very closely with nursing and allied health and health teams rather than just talking about doctors. Without having this extra funding, we would have still done training for staff, but we wouldn't really have been able to develop appropriate resources to work across disciplines and we would have continued delivering perhaps not so up-to-date material because it's done in people's spare time. So being able to get staff to dedicate themselves to developing this work and then delivering it, um, it really made a big difference. Over the next few years we, we are going to be working a lot more closely with um, multidisciplinary training. We've got um, a close working relationship with the WA Centre for Rural Health. In Geraldton and Caratha we share offices with them. We have offices around 14 sites in Western Australia and to actually deliver the training across those sites with the increased numbers that are required by our contract with the Commonwealth, we really need lots more people trained and we, we plan to train them but now we have had this, this injection of funds which has broken the back of developing a whole bunch of resources which we can then put online, we can deliver to, um, to staff around the state, to people who are working with our students who are employed by all, all sorts of agencies. And to actually keep delivering it is nowhere near as expensive as developing it. So it fits more within our capacity, although we won't necessarily not be asking for more funds to help as well. I'm a general practitioner and I live and work in the country and uh, I'm involved in teaching students who have come out and do their prac in our country town. When I went through medicine I, I basically grew up in the city and uh, through medicine I had an opportunity to have some rotations through the rural areas and uh, developed a taste for it and um, my training opportunities actually showed me the what the potential is for, for life and work in country areas so that, that led me to work in places such as Kalgoorlie uh, up north in the Kimberley and more recently down in the southwest in Bunbury and at every stage I think um, it's that uh, combination of being close to the community that you live and work with but also able to live in a, you know, a nice place um, and uh, have a great lifestyle and do meaningful work. You know, there's challenging but very meaningful work that you can do in rural areas and that's the sort of thing that we hope to bring across to our students. We received funding to uh, create a teaching uh, workshop uh, from the West Australian Clinical Training Network. Uh, we were asked to develop a program that teaches, teaches how to, to uh, work with students in, the, in their clinical settings. And it was specifically aimed for students working in rural areas in Western Australia. We had uh, a significant number of doctors involved, so um, about a third of our participants were doctors of various descriptions, mostly general practitioners. We had uh, general surgeons, um, uh, general physicians involved as well, and we had one public health physician uh, came along to our, our workshops. Uh, nursing staff of a number of different varieties, so we had nurses from uh, emergency departments, uh, nurses working in uh, aged care, um, working in general hospital um, ward roles. Um, we had physi physiotherapy students uh, based in either the community or in hospital. Uh, speech therapy students um, were in, who were involved in PRAC in the community. Um, so it was a wide variety of people and the, and the numbers were spread sort of pretty evenly across so we were pretty pleased. We, 
we had a multidisciplinary um, uh, aim, if you like. We wanted to capture all of the health professions and, and the numbers reflected that, you know, quite evenly spread right across. The challenge of the project was how do you get the, the skills to, uh, to teach people across to people that maybe have had no specific training in, in teaching and we were uh, aiming to get some of those very basic but important skills across in a, a short space of time, so a workshop that could um, be fitted into an evening teaching session, for example. Um, we based it on the idea of having practical clinical scenarios that sort of simulated what they would see in their real life. And we, as much as we could, we engaged the students to present those scenarios to the, the teachers. And then we asked the teachers to actually practice how they were going to give the information back to the students, how they're going to give them feedback how they're going to teach them clinical reasoning and how they're going to deal with difficult students who are perhaps not doing what they should be doing. We've re received financial support to run a number of these workshops. We, we ran four workshops in four different country towns in Western Australia and the aim was to, as much as we could within those towns, get coverage from all the health disciplines. There's been a massive change in the way uh, training is, is delivered to students you know, in the health, health area. So um, about 12 years ago there was the, the rural clinical school movement was developed across the whole country and the West Australian Rural Clinical School uh, has been a, a bit of a shining example if you like of, of how rural clinical schools can run and has had uh, tremendous success. So we, we train one quarter of all the medical students in their second last year. Um, come through the rural clinical school every year and they currently are going out to 14 different country towns in Western Australia and they spend a whole year of their studies living and working and studying in those towns. The challenge then is to provide people that are actually going to teach those students who are now pouring out in the country areas and, and the numbers are quite huge. There's 80 to 90 students in their second last year from medicine. There's 300 uh, medical students in their last year do short-term rotations. There's probably several hundred nursing students and significant numbers of the allied health. And these students all need supervision. And this is what our workshop is aimed at, is to start to give those people that are perhaps not naturally teachers, and, but have been um, brought into those roles, to give them some of the skills that they can teach these students. Firstly, we got a lot of enthusiasm and um, got a lot of positive feedback from the workshop. Uh, and I think for a lot of these people, where they don't come from a, a teaching background, um, we were able to introduce the concepts, uh, some very simple but important concepts in teaching. Um, and the interesting thing is we seem to have ignited a bit of enthusiasm. There was a, almost uh, unanimously people wanted follow-up and further information on teaching. So there's a lot of interest out there. Uh, and we know that the presence of students in these small rural communities is a big thing for those towns and they're, they're received really warmly and so you know, if we can support this movement to get students out there I think it's going to be a good thing.